Well, Terry has told me that uh, she don't want me to buy a sailboat, so I can't go sailing. But she hasn't said anything about flying airplanes, so. I have not gone for a swim in weeks, and I have no excuse, except for that our pool has been closed. Our condo association has made the decision to demolish the old defunct pool slide that was built many, many years ago. Another decision was made to close the deeper pool to cut back on operating expenses. Nobody was really using it much anyway, so why operate two pools when one is sufficient? It was also decided to use the debris from the slide demolition and fill up the old pool. And while all this has been going on, all I could do was watch and think about swimming. I could, however, just head to the beach to swim, but I've been just a tad lazy lately. On another note, we finally got around to fixing the damage that was caused to Terry's car by Typhoon Mawar last year. We've been sitting on the insurance money since that time, and we finally got it to the shop. A happy wife is a happy life, as they say, and my kudos go out to Lee's auto body for doing a great job in less than two days' time. At the end of every bowling season, our bowling league graciously holds an awards night where all of the season awards are handed out. This year, our awards banquet was held at the Reef Hotel on Tumon Bay. It's a rather gloomy day today on Guam. It is rainy season. So, that's the view that we were stuck with today. Still not bad. good food, adult beverages, and prize money to be handed out. Several years ago, Terry and I took home the Champions Trophy, but this year we weren't so fortunate. My team turned in a disappointing performance this season, next to last, but on a personal level I did okay with a few cash awards. There were also raffle tickets to purchase, and a few years ago Terry won the raffle grand prize, a round trip ticket on Philippine Airlines from Guam to Manila. That was nice. In this year's raffle, all we won was a gallon of laundry detergent, two boxes of chocolates, and some Clorox wipes. Yeah, at least we came out a little ahead on our raffle expenses, and every little bit helped. Some of you may remember a while back, I did a couple videos uh, in the past when I was on this sailboat kick, and, well, that didn't exactly work out in my favor. Well, Terry has told me that uh, she don't want me to buy a sailboat, so I can't go sailing. But she hasn't said anything about flying airplanes, so... I've been here before. Anybody home here today? Huh? Anybody home here today? Yeah. Uh, you know which one's the office, right? So the office should be all the way down, all the way down, it's the last door on the right. On the, on the, okay, Sorry, thanks. Some people get confused. Okay, no problem. Have a nice day. In 1979, I started flying planes here. I was working on getting my uh, private license. And I all but finished flying. I got all my solo time. I uh, really didn't done except my cross country. So that's why I'm here to figure out today how many hours I need to get that cross country finished. I just went in and met with an instructor. He wants to see my logbook. So, I'm gonna fetch my logbook. Open the 
have it. I happen to have it with me. Yeah, okay. You waiting to fly? Oh, you waiting to instruct? I'm an instructor. Okay. <laughs> Okay, 172? Yeah. And 172 yeah, and uh is that the is that the piper on the outside? That is correct, yeah. Okay. Well, after consulting with the company president for a good while, it was concluded that I need about 20 hours to refresh and catch up to where I left off. With the price of Avgas today, it pushes the plane rental to about $195 per hour and then throw in another $40 for instructor fees and landing fee of $15, it threw me for a tizzy. When I began flying way back when, the cost of the plane was $17.50 per hour. I could save a little if I bought 20 hours of block time, and it would cost me about $4,700 to get my license. Then I could fly around in circles. Because I already drive around in circles, it's obviously much cheaper to do that. Then again, I might just wait until the price of fuel comes down. All in all, it's still cheaper than owning a boat. That's the one I want to fly right there. Start video, good. Yep, and the pull back, the power, David. Yep, pull back, yes. Okay, check the right side, left side, nobody on the long way, so step on the right pedal. And we're back from the long way. Yes, yes. Good. <laughs> hey, enjoy the view. I know. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Yeah, we can turn left at Echo side so we cross runway 6 left ramp control. Turn left at Echo, cross runway 6 left and then ramp control Magellan 3. Thank you so much for watching this video. We do hope you enjoyed it. Please help us out by mashing that like button and don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. Also, a huge thanks to all our Patreons, who without your support, this channel would not be possible. For real-time updates, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and X. And always remember, never give up on a dream. And we'll see you next time.